Yes, he can shorten it, he can prolong it, but that is definitely ordained, all masters say. You can say that days are numbered. Our age is fixed not according to the number of years or months or days, mind that. That is fixed according to the number of breaths we take. Is it? The right use of breaths can prolong our life, and the wrong use of breath can shorten our life. That's it. Normally we take eight to ten breaths in a minute. If we are passionate, we take eighteen to twenty breaths in a minute. Is it not shorted? If you got rhythmic life, you take three to four breaths in a minute. That prolongs. And if you kum, kumuk, kumuk means that learn to control the breathing inside. I met people who could control even for two hours. I met people who just put underground for seven days. Then your life is prolonged. But master don't advise to take up that way because we have to dwell spiritually. By following that way you do not that can show miracles to others. But really is your inner life should change. You must come in court and with the light and talk with you. Your life can be prolonged, shortened, but not beyond the number of breaths we have to take. Yes? Spirit leaves the body. What, the, uh, what would be considered, might be considered the escape hatch? I don't follow what you mean. Do you know how to leave the body or what you mean? What point would these spirits make place? What place? Well, that is life. Have you seen men dying? No. Yeah, what happens? The life is withdrawn from underneath, goes up slowly, then comes to the back of the eyes, eyes are up front. Then the dropship comes. The seat of the soul is at the back of the eyes. You see? Then the dropship comes. That is why Master says, learn to die so that you may begin to live. That is, wherever, to whatever point in the body you go at the time of death, you go at the while alive. So when the meditation given, you come up here, isn't it? And here the soul leaves the body. Yes? When you leave the body, uh, do, the, do the heart stop and everything? No, no. Heart stops only when you control the prana vital ears. In this heart works. Nothing is disturbed. Heart stops only in those cases who are put underground, who control the pranas. Not in this. That becomes really breathing becomes really big, of course. Yes. Is it not actually the diaphragm that is the last to stop beating? The diaphragm is the last thing to stop beating. Yes, surely. The heart goes first and the diaphragm is last because the breathing act starts. Slowly breathing goes out, stops. Becomes long breaths, then hold it slowly. Machinery, when the, you see even machinery stopped, engine stopped, the lower portion goes out slowly. What effect does suicide have on the soul's development, Maharaji? Well, blind, you see, blind and both fall into the ditch. They are respecting heaven after death. If while alive man is not in heaven, how can he be after death, you see? A man who is learned while alive, he is after death, he will remain learned. If I go out this room, then I will see that I am here. I cannot change.
If I meditate, I but my going out, I have to make this. So similarly, you see, what we are when we leave the body, what we are. You cannot change by leaving the body become either angels, those who are just given up to the outward enjoyments, given up like anything, they are the earthworld souls. Those who are better, they have got this little higher, and that is what is proved nowadays by the spiritualism. Spiritualists, they contact with the souls. And those who just become divine, the spiritual pure, they go to the lap of the fathers, you see. By suicide, what do you mean? Well, he meant something else. No, taking the life, taking your life. Yes, yeah. you see, our life is most valuable than our body. Our body is more valuable than the outward things. If we come in a way that we even, I mean, hate our life, we are going to kill us, it is a very strong action. Yeah. That reaction will come, and theosophical society says, a man who suicides, he suicides at least one hundred bustle even after. Every time that reaction will come again. Some people, you see, suicide for no reason. Because the urge of yes. killing is there. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> That's a heinous crime, you see, to kill oneself. How can you have a dream you will kill your own life? It's a very strong reaction. If there is some, I mean, some controlling power, some higher power or God power or Christ power, you might say, <laughs> if there is that might, in that reaction may be suffered down, that's another thing. So there's no other. Do you say a hundred times there This is theosophical literature tells us. Yes, theosophical literature tells us. <laughs> because it, it's a very... The urge is in a hundred lifetimes to <coughs> commit suicide. That and reaction comes, you see. You see, we like to, even, we never like to sacrifice our life. Our uh, great difficulty is we won't like to die, you see. We would like to sacrifice everything, go to possession, even body is cut down by Nobody wants to die. But the man who wants to die, it means very strong action. That must react.